The ready to hit the trails for your runs? While there's no bad time to explore off-road, it's especially fun to escape the baking pavement and retreat to cool and shady single track during this year. Of course, if you're going to conquer mud and technical terrain, it helps to have dedicated trail shoes that bite into dirt and cushion your feet against rocks on your runs. Trail running shoes are intended to give you comfort and grip on uneven surfaces. They are markedly different than their road running cousins, which are designed for consistent, hard and flat roads and sidewalks. Typically, a trail shoe will have aggressive rubber lugs for grip in their outsole and contain less cushioning, as having a good amount of trail feet is important when moving fast over technical terrain. We have listed the top 5 trail running shoes and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products with the best prices mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Saucony Paragerine 12 The fact that we are running in the 12th iteration of the Paragerines is the testimony to enduring quality and popularity of this trail running shoe. For the latest version, Saucony have shaved several grams of weight off the shoe, making an already speed-oriented trail hoof even more nifty. The size of the lugs also have been reduced slightly by 1mm, and the power track outsole has been redesigned with a densely concentrated tread and smartly placed chevrons providing traction and braking control where it's needed. The minimalist 4mm heel-to-toe drop remains, which facilitates low center of gravity and good balance on technical trains. There is a new sock liner which entirely envelops your foot, prevents the ingress of grit and adds to comfort levels. Despite its lightweight construction, there is a new rock plate beneath the cushion power on midsole of the Paragerine 12, which offers good underfoot protection from sharp stones and sticks. And yet, we feel the trail feedback is also better on this new shoe. Saucony has also used some recycled material in the construction of the lightweight, minimalist upper, although they don't specify how much. Number 4. La Sportiva Bushido 2 A Bushido 2 means business as soon as it bounces out of the box. These shoes are intended for running technical trails on pointy shaped hills. The design and fit is aggressive, with a big emphasis on the stability in the lateral way the upper connects to the sole, so you can really drop the hammer and go for it on technical trails, while the style and layout of the lugs help you stay comfortably in control during descents, putting faith in the impact brake system. There's a lot going on in the dual compound friction red sole, and the outer lugs rise up and wrap around the midsole, which inspires confidence when cornering and provides extra protection against sharp sticks and stones on the paths while the studs on the central section supply extra traction and support. There is a reasonable amount of cushioning in the midsole, and the upper is constructed from a tough TPU skeleton combined with mesh to keep the weight down. The lace loops are strongly stitched to the chassis, and there are two higher eyelets so you can lace them up good and tight for a better connection and less chance of losing a shoe in deep mud. It's not waterproof, but the mesh means water quickly exits the shoe, and it has an integrated tongue to prevent grit getting in. There's a modest 6mm drop between the heel and the toe, which is a compromise height, meaning the shoe will be comfortable for the majority of people, regardless of whether their forefoot, midfoot, or heel hits the ground first. If you're a purist barefoot runner, however, this drop might be a tad too much for your like. You don't have to be an elite sky runner to get a lot of enjoyment out of using the Bushidos, but their competitive design and technical capability will push you to take on more technical trails, and you'll feel more comfortable doing so while shod in such a trusty pair of hooves. Number 3. Brooks Cascadia 16 The Brooks Cascadia is an oldie but a goodie. With a history that goes back to early 2000s, Brooks found a winning formula in the Cascadia that is kept going for nearly two decades. If I had to recommend a pair of trail shoes to a new trail runner about whom I had no additional details, I'd point her or him towards the Brooks Cascadia 16. Why? It's a trail shoe that performs well on a variety of trail conditions, while also still being a smooth ride on the pavement as a road-to-trail shoe. In addition, the Cascadia's 8mm heel-to-toe drop should also make the shoe accessible for most runners outside of low-drop enthusiasts. With the Cascadia 16, Brooks moved away from its long-running pivot post system and increased the Cascadia's midsole height, and the new midsole continues to provide the stable, moderately cushioned ride for which the Cascadia is known for. In addition, the ballistic rock shield offers plenty of protection on rocky terrain. As it has for ages, the Cascadia 16's upper offers simple performance along with a gassetted tongue and the gator attachments points. Overall, our tester noted the Brooks Cascadia 16 provides total comfort and likens it to a trustworthy commuter ear reliably fit for most terrain and a price point that most can afford. What's not to love about that combination? Number 2. Ultra Lone Peak 6 If you're among the myriad trail runners who suffer from the pressure points, hotspots and blisters resulting from ill-fitting shoes, this one's for you. Popularized by the barefoot running movement, 
the Ultra's Zero Drop Lone Peak is arguably the most ergonomic and comfortable trail runner on the market. With a flat footbed and extra roomy tow box, the Lone Peak allows the foot to stay in its naturally flat and splayed position, which is great news for wide-footed runners or those with particularly finicky feet. We recommended this shoe to dozens of friends and acquaintances who struck out with the more traditional shoes and have yet to lead anyone astray. The new Lone Peak 6 doesn't venture far from the previous models, but it does feature an updated upper and new lacing system for a more secure fit. This is good news for those with low-profile feet. Previous versions of the Lone Peak have critiqued for being too roomy and thus unstable on rocky and greedy terrain. And true to its trail-worthy intentions, the Ultra also features a rock plate, gator attachments, and drain ports both on the toe box and inside the foot. But all praise aside, it's important to keep in mind that the Zero Drop design is not for everyone, and those accustomed to a more typical trail runner might find the Lone Peak rather sluggish. Finally, we haven't had great luck with the Lone Peak's durability. Although the 6 features a more robust tow guard that should address many of the outgoing model's delamination issues. Number 1. Solomon Sense Ride 4 For trail runners that can do it all, we love the Solomon Sense Ride 4. The shoe is equally at home on a quick door to trail runs as it is during ultra-distance pursuits and can even handle technical cross-country terrains with ease. The all-around performance isn't surprising given the Solomon's versatile design, which features a moderate amount of cushioning, 27mm in the heel, generously sized toe box that accommodates our wide feet, fairly standard 8mm drop, and full contact grip rubber outsole. We've put over 700 miles on various iterations of the Sense Ride, and the 4 has proven to be a considerably comfortable and high-performance shoe for a wide variety of terrain. But while the Sense Ride 4 is good at everything, it's not necessarily a top performer in any specific category. Held up against the specialist Bushido, you give up a bit of grip and ground feel for off-trail train. And the Solomon is not as soft and lightweight as a max cushion shoe like the Speed Goat. Further, although we've used it for several FKT attempts, the Sense Ride 4 is not nearly as speed-oriented as shoes like Catamount or Torrent 2. But for one quiver trail runner that can handle most terrain with aplomb, it's one of the most well-rounded designs we've tried. Finally, if you're not already won over by the Sense Ride's 4 stellar combination of comfort and performance, consider its price at $120. It's an excellent value. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.